PMG Mori Technology Days, what are they about? Well, what we want to do is provide our customers a platform across two days where we've got industry specialists all in one place and combine that, that specialism um, with the technology that are, that are on our machines um, through technology cycles and options and be able to um, basically facilitate our customers to be able to produce components faster, smarter. And what technologies are you showcasing here today on your machine tools? What new technologies are they? Okay, well across the entire DMG Mori range we have got some of the, the big hitters, if you like, the monoblocks, the 60 Evos, um, and across those platforms we have up to 35 different technology cycles. So the technology cycles are not available across all of the platforms but are, are specific to certain ones. So this machine here, the CTX Beta, that's that's the main the main focal point of the actual show. Um, and this machine itself has 22 cycles on it. So those 22 cycles are, are monitoring cycles, they're measuring cycles, maintenance cycles and production cycles. So those cycles can help you um, monitor the machine while it's actually in production. So easy tool monitoring, monitoring the loads, where, employing sister tooling, that sort of thing. Um, MPC, which is machine protection control. So if you've got a standard setup, you, you, your machine's running throughout the night, one of your tip fails or something uh, goes wrong which affects the cutting conditions of the machine the machine will actually stop it wouldn't be pushing a 50 mil u drill uh, down a bit of stainless steel it will just it will recognize the fact that it's the, the motors over its load and completely stop which obviously saves a lot of heartache when you're coming in in the morning and um, there's other cycles as well that facilitate the actual uh, production of the part so eccentric uh, machining it's not something you'd normally use um, incorporate CAD CAM to be able to produce that um, on here, very simple conversational boxes that you just add um, uh, your dimensions in, press cycle start. Now, these are fantastic features. Now, is it predominantly software that enable you to have this additional uh, productivity and features on your, and processes on your machine? Yeah, the software behind the control, so with the CLOS and the CLOS applications that help you to program something like a robot. So our Robo to Go now can be programmed solely through an app that's on that's built onto the front of the machine. So it's very much software driven, trying to take away from the the amount of skill that you would have initially been able to needed to teach a robot in to um, work out a skiving program, a hobbing program, things like that become suddenly become very accessible and very easy to, um, to be able to realise. Now you say easy, you know, the way you uh, portrayed the programming that you that you have is simplified the way you can do it with it being conversational and that you, you're kind of de-skilling it in a way, is that correct? I don't, I don't see it as a de-skill, so if you're conversant with shop turn and shop mill, you will have the uh, suitable skills to be able to incorporate the technology cycles that we offer into those programs but by, by following the same sort of dialogue boxes. So I don't say, I wouldn't see it as a de-skill, it's more of a sort of, why it's, it's working smarter, not harder, that's, that's the way I look at it. So it's, it's faster, it's easier to use and, and yeah. you can put them cycles in a lot quicker than you would have had to uh, historically. I mean, you mentioned eccentric turning. This is something we did at college yeah, yeah. on manual lathes. Now, can you explain to me how that works in a little bit more detail, please? Yeah, so basically you would work out whether you were ex eccentric turning a boss or whether it was a groove. You would select the appropriate icon and then go through your diameter, that you, you know, your final start diameter, final diameter, what the offset is in X, what the offset is in Y and then incorporates that program cycle start. So it's not de-skilling, it's simplif simplification effectively. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, why make life hard for yourself when we've got the capability to be able to do it and make an easy job of it.